Alrighty, hello everyone, Lawrence here from Expressed Unity, and this is episode 5. Now, I am recording uh, episode 5 on the same day as I did episode 4, I might even release both episodes uh, today. Um, only reason being is I'm probably going to be busy for the next two weeks, and there probably won't be an episode till then, um, unless I do find time, in which case uh, there will be. Um, so, I do apologise for episode 4 as the music was a tad loud. Um, I didn't actually realise how loud it was in the recording. I probably should have tested it beforehand. Um, but hopefully the volume for everything is adjusted now. Um, also, again, I apologise for the mouse clicking. My current setup as I'm in the process of moving is not permanent and so all my recording equipment is... Uh, not really set up correctly. Um, but okay, uh, so in the last episode we got two players uh, synchronized and what we're going to do uh, today is um, on our player script, so that's uh, it's already opened here, on our player script um, da -da 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 -da. We're going to want a health, um, so we'll do a private health, uh, oops, private float health, and maybe give it a default value of 100. I'm also going to want a private float uh, min, min health equals zero, and a private float max health equals 100. So basically what we're going to be doing uh, in this video is synchronizing these variables. Um, so in the API um, if I can find it it's always, it's always a function that I can't quite remember the name of. So I might just have to quickly go over and check on my other script what it was. Um, oh yeah, okay. So down here, what we want to do is make a public virtual void and it's going to be called on photon serialize view and it's going to have a few parameters or arguments um, so the first one is going to be a photon stream we'll call that stream and the next one is going to be a photon message info uh, which we rarely use that um, anyway so we're going to want to make uh, some uh, if and else statements so if stream dot is reading then we want to do something um, actually I'm going to the other way around we want to do if stream dot is writing and then else if stream dot is reading so what this basically means here is if it's writing this is basically my component, right? Um, this is my player. So everything I'm sending out from this script goes here. Uh, if it's reading, this is basically everyone else. So everyone else is getting what I just sent. So what we basically want to do here is stream.send next and we actually want to send our health. And basically, this is telling everyone what our what our current health value is. So, in the is writing, we want to do stream the receive next, right? However, this is done a little bit differently. So, for everyone else, this is my component, right? So we want to update our health here. So health equals stream to receive next. However, we need to cast it as a float. 
So this works in order, right? So if I had a vector two up here, let's say, let's say this is send next vector two of some kind, then we'd need to have the vector two above health. If we had the vector two below health and it's above health here, um, then what's going to happen is you're going to get some sort of error saying that vector two can't be cast into a float or something along those lines. So, doing this, a health should now update on uh, on uh, players. Um, however, we're still gonna we're still gonna need to make some some kind of um, RPC uh, RPC call um, for uh, removing health. So save that. Go to a player because we are gonna. Want, oh, we've actually already got it here. So that is great. So let's go ahead and drop a player down. Let's create a. Let's see how we're going to do this. Let's create a canvas on the player and let's scale that canvas down. Um, so we're going to want it to be a world space canvas and 3.1.1.1. Much smaller is that? That's not very small, is it? Um, oh, um, reset position. That's why we couldn't see it. There we are. Um, cool. So just scale this maybe to 0 0.03, 0 0.03, and 0 0.03. And move it above the player. So let's go ahead and create a new text inside this. Um, this object here. Let's scale it up. And we'll just give this uh, the value of our health. Um, let's make it bold, maybe a bit bigger. Make it white. And let's add a few shadow components to give it some kind of outline. So four shadow components. On the first one, zero out the X and for the first Y we want to do negative we'll do negative three actually and for the second Y we'll just do three and then zero at the Y on the bottom three shadows and for the first one we'll do uh, three and then below that we'll do negative three. So that should give uh, the uh, text a nice outline. Um, you could also change the color of the shadow but we're not going to do that. You can also change to uh, just pure black because it is an outline. We don't really need any kind of transparency with it, like that. Right, so that looks pretty good. So let's go ahead and on the player script, we want to now be using the Unity UI system by typing using unityengine.ui. And let's create a new public text. We'll call it health text. Um, and let's just drag and drop the text into that new field. Uh, like so. And let's just apply that for now. Alrighty. <clears throat> so really quick we could do something basic like void on collision uh, enter uh, we can do if photon is mine um, and then here let's go ahead and create a new void damage maybe uh, we'll just do it like this for now. We'll do health 
Type weight equal um, uh, 20. Um, and now what we can do here is photon view the RPC and we want to <coughs> get the damage uh, function which is just damage and we actually above the damage function we want to put photon it's not going to let us do that because of this error so above here and we want to put photon <coughs> huh. So, forgot about that. Um, <clears throat> okay, so pun RPC in here, uh, RPC damage. Next is our targets. So, uh, photon targets, and we want to target everyone. So, what is this is basically going to do is send this function to everybody. So, we want to take away 20 health. So this at the moment, uh, we'll, we're also going to want to do um, if collision the <coughs> game object tag is equal to player. Alrighty, now I believe that should be it. When I collide with another player, I should lose twenty health and it should sync the health with that player. Um, technically, you probably don't even need this if you're using an RPC, but this is just safe because it's basically always constantly going to update the health whenever it's changed. Um, so, save that. <clears throat> and that should be it. Got our text, let's apply this and disable the game object. Oh, actually no, that's that's not it. Because now we actually want to update our text. Um, so, we're gonna do uh, health text, health the text uh, equals health. <coughs> health two string. So to test if it works just on ourselves, let's just make the default text value be a zero. And let's apply, disable the player. And when we load in, we should have the health value of 100. Join or create, and yes, okay. So it's updating on our end. Now the real test is to see if it updates on both players. And if I've done everything correctly, it should. <laughs> Basically when it comes to network uh, programming, it's just a matter of trial and error um, when you're first starting out with it. Um, I did so much wrong uh, when I first started using Photon. Um, now I like to think that my coding with it is a little bit better. <laughs> so trying to create, this player has 100 health. Trying to create. Okay, so I've actually already taken damage because there's some latency. So this player here actually spawned in the center. So let's actually move the players a bit closer to the screen so we can see the value. So if I move this player onto that one. Okay, so there's no logic as to who takes damage yet, we both take damage, so, yeah, there we go, okay, now we're going into the negatives, <laughs> so, uh, to stop it from going into the negative, let's go here, let's do, no need for this actually, let's see, if health is greater than uh, max health, then we want health 
to equal max health because we never want our health to be more than our max health <clears throat> and if we do and you have some sort of uh, power up then you basically increase max health along with health so it's not that big of a deal um, uh, we're also going to want to do if health is less than zero or in this case min health which is also zero uh, then we want health to equal min health so basically we'll never ever go above max health and we'll never go below zero since min health is zero okay so what we can do is create a game object that's just constantly on the map um, let's <coughs> move it away from where the players spawn and give it maybe a red material uh, so let's call it hurt trigger make it red and drag that onto the cube and let's give this cube a tag of hurt like so and for now instead of this um, triggering, triggering on players we'll trigger it when we collide with that hurt block like so so build and run <clears throat> come on not just build and run and there we go window over here and a window over here the screen can be test, test123 this screen can be rand and rand123 do you wanna create and let's move this one over here I didn't realize that this cube was actually so close to the camera alright so <clears throat> if we make this cube collide with the red cube his health should go down and it should sync with this player like so Vice versa with this one, if we move him over here, his health should go down on both. There we go. And then now if we hit the player, nothing happens besides pushing each other. And if we try and go below zero, it should never happen. There we go. You can actually see it um, bugging out just a little on this player because of latency. So by it doing that, you actually know that it is syncing correctly um there's just a bit of lag so um probably gonna want to make a script a tad better than this because when it is um bugging out like that maybe that could cause problems on other clients because it's going into a value that it should never be going into um and if we move this player here technically i can push him into the red uh, block eventually and there we go so I just pushed him into it and I made him take damage um, so yeah pretty pretty simple uh, episode um, I hope you guys enjoyed it um, I think for the next video I'm probably gonna be doing something simple like synchronizing our username um, just above the the uh, the the health um, if we really wanted to get fancy we could do a health bar exactly the same thing uh, if you wanted to replace this with um, uh, with a health bar you could get something like an image uh, set it to fill and change the value on the script um, uh, so yeah we might even do that so I can show you um, so yeah, basically that's it. If you guys want to see something um, you'd like me to add in this series, just comment below. If you guys like the video, give it a like. Subscribe if you want to see more. 
and I'll catch you guys in episode 6.